Only on 7 News, the University of Colorado Hospital pioneering a new way to treat cancer of the esophagus, the first and only hospital in Colorado to treat tumors by freezing them. 7 News reporter Tack Landrock takes us inside that procedure. It's a concept used for decades. Typically, the wart, you know, dermatology area, people treat warts with uh, liquid nitrogen. But now it has a new purpose to treat certain types of cancerous tumors. Liquid nitrogen. It actually freezes the tumor, and that's the way we want to. We want it gone. About a year ago, and, uh, H. C. Pace started yeah. having problems with uh, his esophagus. Has, Several biopsies confirming the diagnosis: cancer. The options could have been, uh, as I say, do nothing, or I could go into a program of uh, radiation and chemo, which I did. After undergoing radiation and chemo, the cancer returned. That's when Pace's primary care physician introduced him to Dr. Norio Fukami at the University of Colorado Hospital, a new treatment for his cancer called True Freeze Spray. We actually infuse the liquid nitrogen to freeze the tissue and then uh, cause uh, cell death. Now, uh, eventually, it takes usually a couple of days. The University of Colorado Hospital, the first and only hospital in Colorado to use the new technique. Traditionally, doctors either burn the cancerous tissue or cut it out, but it can cause complications. Some patients doesn't do well with cutting. Some patients uh, doesn't respond to burning treatment. And this is a really good alternative when there's other uh, treatment fails. When it was first introduced for cancer treatment in 2007, there were some early problems with the liquid nitrogen turning to gas inside the body in some cases causing intestinal tearing. Soon after we realized that's an issue, um, and then they modified the machine and, and the tube system, and uh, hasn't happened for many years. Today, the side effects are minimal. With the freezing, no, I don't have any ill effects immediately after, and I don't know of having any ill effects two weeks after. And the procedures appear to be working. Initially, Pace went in for the procedure every four weeks, but now he only has to go in every six weeks. At the last uh, cryotherapy that I had, uh, Dr. Fukami uh, took three biopsies of that area. They returned clear. You better believe it. Did the cryotherapy work? Looks like it, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Tack Landrock, 7 News. The True Freeze Spray is an outpatient procedure, and it takes about a half hour.